The GPT 5.2 Codex Max leaks just dropped, and this is wild. OpenAI might have built the most powerful coding AI ever. We're talking 56% accuracy on real-world coding tests. It can refactor entire code bases in one shot, and it uses 94% fewer tokens than the last version. This is going to change everything about how we code. And before we dive in, I need to say this up front. Everything I'm about to share comes from leaks and user reports. Nothing is officially confirmed by OpenAI yet, so take this with a grain of salt, but the evidence is pretty strong. All right, so here's what's happening. Over the past few weeks, people have been spotting something weird in their OpenAI responses. They're seeing references to a model called GPT-5.2 Codex Max, and it's not just one or two people. This is happening on Reddit, on GitHub, in developer forums, According to reports on Reddit and Times of AI, users are getting responses that literally say they're powered by this new Codex variant. And when you dig into what this thing can do, it's absolutely insane. Let me break down what we know so far. GPT 5.2 Codex Max is supposedly the next evolution of OpenAI's coding models. Think of it as GPT 5.2, but supercharged specifically for writing code. And the benchmarks that leaked, they're crushing everything else on the market. According to sources from Proxnox and Comet API, this model is hitting 56.4% accuracy on something called SWE Bench Pro. That's a test where AI has to solve real-world software engineering problems, not toy problems, real bugs, real refactors, real code that actual developers struggle with. Put that in perspective, the previous version, GPT 5.1 Codex Max, was getting 50.8% on the same test, and Claude Opus 4.5, sitting around 50%, so this new Max version is legitimately better than everything else we've seen. But here's where it gets even crazier. On another benchmark called Terminal Bench 2.0, which tests how well AI can handle command line operations, GPT 5.2 Codex Max is scoring 64%. The old version was at 58.1%. That's a huge jump. Now let me tell you about the token efficiency. This is where my mind was completely blown. According to the leaks from evaluations posted online, GPT 5.2 Codex Max uses 93.7% fewer tokens on simple coding tasks compared to GPT 5.1 Codex Max. Think about what that means. You're getting better results and it's using way less computational power. That means faster responses, lower costs, more efficient automation. For anyone running an AI powered business, this is a game changer. But wait, there's more. And this is where it gets really interesting for People like us who are building businesses with AI. This model supposedly has different variants. There's a standard version, and then there's something called the X High variant. According to reports from Longbridge and other sources, the X High version is designed for compute heavy tasks. We're talking tasks that can run for hours. Imagine telling an AI to refactor your entire code base, optimize it for performance, and fix security vulnerabilities. And it just does it autonomously for seven hours straight. If you're watching this and thinking, how do I actually use AI to automate my business like Julian's talking about? You need to check out the AI Profit Boardroom. This is where we teach you exactly how to implement tools like GPT 5.2 Codex Max into your actual workflow. We're not just talking theory here, we give you the prompts, the systems, the automation blueprints to save time and scale faster. Whether you're building landing pages, automating customer support or creating content pipelines, we show you the exact process, no fluff, just actionable strategies that work. Link is in the description. Okay, let's keep going. Let me paint a picture of how you could use this for something like the AI Profit Boardroom. Imagine we want to rebuild our entire member dashboard right now. That would take a developer weeks, multiple meetings, back and forth revisions, bug fixes, testing. With GPT 5.2 Codex Max in X high mode, you could theoretically say, hey, rebuild our dashboard with better UX faster load times, mobile responsiveness, and integrate our payment system. And it would just handle it. It would touch multiple files, refactor the entire structure, write tests, handle edge cases, all while you're sleeping. Now I mentioned security earlier. Let me expand on that because this is huge. According to the leaked capabilities from SiliconANGLE, GPT 5.2 Codex Max can detect security vulnerabilities in code. And not just surface level stuff. We're talking about finding React component flaws, spotting potential SQL injection points, identifying authentication weaknesses. For the AI Profit Boardroom, this means we could scan our entire platform, find security holes before hackers do, and patch them automatically. 
Leaks also mention something called multi-file refactors. This is critical. Most coding AI can handle single files pretty well. But when you need to change something that touches 10 different files, 20 files, that's where they fall apart. GPT 5.2 Codex Max supposedly handles this like a pro. It understands the relationships between files. It knows what needs to change where, and it does it all in one go. No more manually editing file after file. No more missing dependencies. It just works. Here's another capability that caught my attention. Windows Terminal Operations. According to Terminal Bench Results, this model is really good at handling Windows-specific command line tasks. Most AI models are trained heavily on Unix and Linux. Windows gets neglected, but a huge chunk of businesses run on Windows. So having an AI that can automate Windows tasks, that's massive for enterprise adoption. Let me talk about where these leaks are coming from. The code name that keeps popping up is Caribou. According to Reddit threads on Arc or OpenAI and Times of AI reports, Caribou is the internal name OpenAI is using for this model during testing. Users have spotted it in error messages, in API responses, in GitHub commits. There's even a system card PDF that supposedly leaked though I can't verify its authenticity, but multiple independent sources are corroborating the same benchmarks and capabilities. So there's definitely something real here. So how would you actually access this thing if it's real? According to posts on GitHub and Reddit, GPT 5.2 Codex Max is likely going to require an OpenAI Pro or Enterprise account. The standard free tier probably won't cut it. And there's supposedly a CLI tool command line interface that you can install. The leak mentions installing it with npm install ga open ai like codex then you'd configure it with a config file to enable the x high mode for those longer autonomous tasks some users on reddit are also reporting that you can access it through tools like cursor ide cursor is a code editor that integrates with open ai's models if gpt 5.2 codex max gets rolled out cursor would likely support it pretty quickly so that might be the easiest way for non-technical people to use it you just describe what you want in plain English and it writes the code for you. Now, let me show you how this compares to the competition, because that's what everyone wants to know, right? How does it stack up against Claude Opus 4.5 and Gemini 3 Pro? Based on leaked comparison guides from Virtu and other sources, here's the breakdown. On SW Bench Pro, GPT 5.2 Codex Max is at 56.4%. Claude Opus 4.5 is around 50%. Gemini 3 Pro is slightly behind Claude. On Terminal Bench, GPT 5.2 Codex Max hits 64%. Claude is strong, but lags a bit. Gemini is even further back. And on Token Efficiency, GPT 5.2 Codex Max is crushing both of them. Claude Opus 4.5 is known for being expensive per token. This new OpenAI model would be way more cost effective. But here's the thing. Claude Opus 4.5 is still really good at reasoning and explaining its code. Gemini 3 Pro has some unique strengths in multimodal tasks. So it's not like GPT 5.2 Codex Max makes everything else obsolete. But if you're specifically focused on coding automation, this looks like the clear winner. And for businesses like the AI Profit Boardroom, where we're constantly building new tools and automations, having the most powerful coding model matters. Let me give you a practical example. Let's say we want to create a new lead magnet for the AI Profit Boardroom. Something like an AI automation calculator that helps people figure out how much time they could save with AI. Normally you'd need to hire a developer. They'd build the calculator logic, design the interface, set up the backend, handle form submissions, integrate it with your email list. That's at least a week of work and probably a few thousand dollars. With GPT 5.2 Codex Max, you could describe exactly what you want. Build me a calculator that asks users about their current workflow, calculates time saved with AI automation, shows them the results in a cool visual format and captures their email for our list. And it would just build the whole thing. Front end, back end integrations, everything. Or imagine you want to optimize your website for SEO. You could tell the AI, scan my entire website, identify pages with slow load times, optimize images, minify code, implement lazy loading and add proper schema markup. It would touch dozens of files, make hundreds of changes and you wouldn't have to touch a single line of code yourself. That's the power we're talking about here. But here's the flip side. If you understand business problems and know how to use AI to solve them, you become way more valuable. You can build things that would have taken a team of developers. You can move faster than any traditional agency. You can serve more clients with less overhead. That's why we focus so much on AI automation in the AI profit boardroom. We're not scared of these tools. We're leveraging them to get ahead. 
So what should you do right now? First, stay updated. Follow the GitHub releases for OpenAI Codex. Watch the Reddit threads on Matter OpenAI and Arcus Singularity. These communities are often the first to spot new developments. Second, if you have an OpenAI Pro account, keep an eye on your model options. GPT 5.2 Codex Max might show up there first. Third, start thinking about your automation opportunities. What repetitive coding tasks are you doing that could be automated? What features have you been putting off building because they seem too complex? Make a list. Because when this tool becomes widely available, you want to be ready to use it immediately. And if you want the full process, SOPs, and over 100 AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. It's our free AI community. Links in the comments and description, you'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 40,000 members who are crushing it with AI. We share prompts, workflows, case studies, everything you need to actually implement this stuff, not just watch videos about it, but actually do it. Here's my prediction. If these leaks are accurate, GPT 5.2 Codex Max is going to become the go-to tool for AI-powered development within six months. Everyone building AI automation businesses will be using it. Every agency will have it in their stack. And the people who learn how to use it effectively will have a massive competitive advantage. The people who ignore it or wait too long will get left behind. It's that simple. So here's what I want you to do. Drop a comment below and just say Codex Max. Let me know you watch this far. Let me know you're paying attention to this stuff because these are the developments that separate the people who succeed with AI from the people who just talk about it. Julian Goldie reads every single comment, so he'll see yours. And if you got value from this video, smash that like button and subscribe. We're dropping AI updates like this every single week. You don't want to miss the next one. This is the future of coding. This is the future of business automation. And it's happening right now. Don't sleep on it.